Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. ETL, that means Extract Load and Transformation, is a process that can be achieved with the help of integration services. Azure Data Factory is an integration service too. That means with the help of this, you can extract the data from a source, you can load it, and then you can transform it according to your own requirements and needs. In the last video, we talked about where you can store the data. First, you have to identify your sources, then you have to store it at one place. Now, after that, you may have to load it to another place or maybe at your destination, and also you have to transform the data. But how you can transform it? And what kind of Azure service you can use for this purpose? Well, the answer is Azure Data Factory. What is it? How does it work? What this can do? Everything you would get to know in this video. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Hi there, my name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Microsoft Power BI and Azure for different analytics services and data visualization. So if you are the one who would like to pursue a career in data analytics, then you should subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now let's start with the very first question. What is Azure Data Factory? Well guys, Azure Data Factory is a powerful cloud-based data integration service that provides numerous use cases in real world scenario for data analytics. It's gonna help you to extract the data, transform the data, and then load the data. Now we are gonna discuss some of the common use cases of Azure Data Factory for data analytics. As a data engineer, as a data scientist, as a BI developer, or as a data analyst, you can use Azure Data Factory and can take advantage of Azure Analytics services. The very first use case is data migration. That means how you are gonna migrate data from source to destination. ADF or Azure Data Factory can be used to migrate data from on-premise data sources to cloud data sources. This is a common use case for businesses that are moving their operations to the cloud. ADF or Azure Data Factory is simplifying the migration process by providing a user-friendly interface and built-in connector for a wide range of data sources. You can connect with almost any data sources that are available today. So it's gonna help you to migrate your data from source to destination. Number two, it's gonna help you to transform your data. I myself have worked on Microsoft BI stack and in that we used to use SSIS, that is SQL Server Integration Services. And ADF is a complementary to that service in the cloud. Now, ADF can be used to transform data into a format that is suitable for analysis. This can include data cleansing, aggregation, and normalization. By using ADF to transform data, businesses can ensure that their data is accurate and consistent, which is essential for making data-driven decisions. If you haven't come across any ETL process, then I request you, you start looking into that one because as a BI developer, data scientist, or maybe as a data analyst, you need to know. You have to walk one way or another. At least you should have a sound understanding of ETL process. Now let's talk about the third point, that is data warehousing. ADF can be used to move data from various data sources into a data warehouse. This is a common use case for businesses that need to centralize their data for analysis. By using ADF to load data into a data warehouse, businesses can simplify their data management process and make it easier to analyze the data. Number fourth, real-time data integration. ADF can be used to integrate real-time data from various sources, such as social media, IoT devices, and web applications. By using ADF to integrate real-time data, businesses can gain insights into their operations in real time, allowing them to make quick decisions and respond to change in their business environments. Now, I'm sure if you are working for any organization, you have seen these kind of scenarios where you are getting data constantly from a streaming device that can be your IoT device, or maybe it's your Twitter account, or maybe it's your Facebook account. So if you have to get the data from those devices, in that case also, you can use ADF to integrate real-time data. 
Now coming to the last point that is also very important use case over here that is analytics on big data. And let's see how ADF can help you over there. ADF can be used to process large volumes of data in a cost effective manner. This is a common use case for businesses that needs to analyze large data sets such as those generated by IoT devices or social media platforms. By using Azure Data Factory or ADF to process big data, businesses can gain valuable insights into their operations and make data-driven decisions. So these were the five different use cases from real life that can be accomplished with the help of Azure Data Factory. In conclusion, Azure Data Factory provides numerous use cases for data analytics in the real world. By using ADF to migrate, transform, warehouse, integrate, and analyze data, businesses can gain valuable insights into their operations and make data-driven decisions that drive their business success. I hope now you have clear understanding about Azure Data Factory. But if you would like to proceed further, then we have a dedicated tutorial for this. Please check the link in the description section and start watching now. If you have any concern or questions, don't forget to connect with us and also comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.